Welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. And welcome back to a very warm um, Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Um, it's 35 degrees C now uh, in this home lab. It's absolutely scorching. Um, the, the, the main um, router that we actually basically use uh, to route to the internet and uh, also route between labs here um, has rebooted twice because <laughs> it's so hot um you know it's 35 degrees c that's the ambient air temperature it's 35 i've already changed as you can see it's the same day but i've changed because i got so hot and so sweaty in the last attire that i've swapped i've been out for a coffee i've been out for a gelato to cool down uh it's still boiling hot um i think i'm probably gonna have to start turning this stuff off in this lab really if it uh, it continues uh, or turn the air conditioning on uh, because it is hot anyway so continuing um our little theme um with our um minis forum uh ms a2 uh, in the last video we had a little unboxing ceremony uh you saw me uh drop uh, 128 gig of memory in the box uh and uh, turned it on for the first time um and i already actually said to you that at the time i think that uh, i'd read that uh, a new firmware had been released uh, on the 6th of June, 2025, um, 1.02. Um, and in our current uh, server, uh, which is this one, uh, and I've got a mouse on board now, uh, so I can actually basically show you the setup. So we're currently running BIOS version 1.01 and we'll get that updated to 1.02 in this video and I'll show you how. Um, now, this is, this is a little bit different uh, or a little bit modern, I should say, uh, that, of course, the, the MSA2 doesn't actually support uh, legacy MBR um, in BIOS. Uh, so we're not in Kansas anymore, Toto, uh, meaning that we are now uh, fully um, FE, UFE, whatever you want to call it, UEFI. Um, so we can build um, a normal um, DOS flash boot disk, which we would have traditionally done, or I'd have traditionally gone to my um, key ring of USB flash drives and found a uh, LMS DOS boot disk uh, to boot off. We can't do that. Uh, we've got to build. Um, we've got to build a UFE version. Um, and um, the easiest way that I found uh, to down uh, to create a UEFI version, quite simply, um, is to format something, uh, flash drive with FAT32, uh, drop on the um, the UEFI shell uh, on it. I'll put a link uh, to the GitHub repo where I download shell.fe from. Um, then we're going to need to download. Uh, just let me turn off um just let me turn off this so you can see the screen um so then we're going to need these uh flash files which are available from the minis forum website um extract them uh bob them onto a usb flash drive uh we'll go back to our uh, minis forum um machine and one of the things that we're going to have to do, because otherwise it's not going to work, um, I can demonstrate that now. I have actually inserted the USB flash drive already into this machine. And if I click, if I go back, um, I click without saving. OK, yes. If I just double click boot on there, it's doing nothing. If I go to BBS menu and double click uh, that, now that, you know, the giveaway there is where it says UFE. So it is actually basically expecting a UFE um, partition. Um, and uh, a UEFI shell uh, to to boot um, UEFI, um, but it's not gonna boot because at the moment we've got it enabled in secure boot mode. Um, so we're gonna have to turn that off. So if I go to security, uh, secure boot, and I just toggle that and say uh, disabled, uh, save and exit. Um, it's now basically going to do a, uh, a restart so that it's actually basically restarting with secure boot uh, disabled. And what we're probably going to find is that it's going to find that USB flash drive straight away uh, and it's going to drop me into a, uh, there we go, it's going to drop me into a uh, UFE shell and it's just basically going to drop me there. Now I could do a DIR here 
Uh, okay, I think I'm going to do DIR FS01, I think, something like that. Nope. Okay, that's interesting. Um, okay, I'm just going to type um, the FE flash. Uh, you can see that you can find this file. It's called FE, FE flash dot NSH. And that's actually basically the flash component. Okay, error. Unable to open specified file. Uh, have I got to actually basically type the, again, I said I haven't actually basically looked at um, any of the um, documentation for this. So it's actually FS0 colon. It, it reminds me a bit of the BBC Micro, really, to be honest. But anyway, FS0 colon DIR. And there you can actually basically see uh, the files that we have. Now, I'm sure um, FE flash. NSH. OK, that looks a bit better this time. Um, I think it's because I didn't actually basically specify the FS0 colon in the shell, so it couldn't actually basically find the firmware file to flash. So there you go. Um, it's flashing. Um, I've not got a cold drink. I've not got an espresso. Um, I'm absolutely boiling. Um, so I'm going to have a little talk about, again, a reminder uh, for we've got this um, MS A2 um, because it was a bit like FOMO, really. Um, that a lot of the experts were getting hold of these uh, Daniel Crager, William Lamb, uh, Stephen Wagner uh, to drop a few names, to drop a few VMware V experts there in the community. Um, and also a reminder um, that uh, in about 14 days' time, or 10 or 14 days' time, um, let's say 10 days. Um, the applications close uh, for the uh, VXpert, VMware VXpert program uh, for the second half uh, of the year for 2025. Uh, so if you think what you've got uh, it takes to be a VMware VXpert, um, if you participate in the community, if you write blogs, um, do videos, um, do podcasts, uh, do speaking at meetings or whatever, if it's got a VMware angle, then we want you to be a VMware V expert. Uh, so reach out to me in the comments below um, or reach out to me on social media and we can have a chat. Um, we, I think we still are running some VMware V expert uh, programs and meetups, I think on LinkedIn um, to explain to you what the program is, uh, how to apply, etc. cetera. Uh, so um, a lot of erasing and verifying and programming and all sorts uh, going on here in the background um, that I'm looking at on my screen. Um, it does it does take a while, but hopefully that will get us to uh, 1.02. Um, we'll re-enable uh, Secure Boot uh, and then we'll install Windows 11. But anyway, getting back to the VMware VX program. Again, uh, if you think that you have... Um, for what it takes to become a VMware V expert, uh, then apply um, and um, uh, we'll vote on your applications once uh, closing has been completed. Um, and once we've actually basically finished the, the updating of this uh, flash, um, then we're going to have a little look at using it for Windows 11 as a desktop. Uh, we might even actually enable, uh, to be honest with you, uh, Hyper-V on that. Um, and uh, we'll do some migrations uh, to client Hyper-V. Uh, then we'll turn it into a real Hyper-V server using uh, Windows Server 2025. And then later on, we'll have a little look at using it for uh, uh, Promox and uh, Nutanix uh, before we get back on track with um, VMware VCF 9 uh, and having a little look at ESX 9.9, um, VMware vCenter Server 9 and, uh, and version 7 and versions 8 as well. So, so it's going to be used as a, a workhorse here. It works. It's going to be used as a workhorse uh, here uh, in Hancock's VMware Half Hour uh, to be doing lots of stuff on. Um, but um, uh, again, you know, it's it's a very small box, um, less heat, less power. Um, you know, we migrated. Um, you know, you know, I think there's nothing wrong with using um, servers on eBay that have a very low value. Um, you know, there's a reason why Dell PowerEdge servers and HPE servers have a, a very low uh, resale uh, price 
and there we go we're restarting there so i'm just going to hit delete uh when i see the i'm using the wrong mouse um i'm going to hit delete uh so we can actually basically go into the bios um just trying to think where my mouse has gone um and uh, we'll have a little look see where it's actually updated to 1.02 found my mouse okay it's taking a little while to come back but maybe it's actually basically having to do some stuff um or whether or not that um it's completely failed um or whether or not that it has to do that training um, i'm not quite sure when that training aspect kicks in really to be honest with you um if you know then you can drop that in the comments but still got a white uh, led um on the box at the moment and obviously basically it's uh it's restarting uh so rather than you just watch me and watch it say no signal then i'll just put this on pause at the moment i put it on pause it's probably going to appear there we go as i predicted uh put it on pause okay so we're back so let's have a little look in setup now um there we go last version 1.02 uh build date and time 16th of 6 2025 yep i concur with that uh system time 1608 uh so i'm just going to go back to uh security uh i'm going to go secure boot and i'm basically just going to put that back in oh it already has done for me secure boot is now actually enabled uh and uh, secure boot is standard so it's actually basically re that well i had it set to disabled uh that's actually basically set that back um quit without saving um okay um so that's it you know um that's how we um easily um update our, our minis forum and that will apply actually to all um i call them servers but they're workstations really uh, or small form factor workstations but that's how you're going to update any uh minis forum um workstations small form factor workstation uh to the latest bios uh, and you know that's applicable really to any um workstation or server today uh that is using uh uefi as i said it's a shame really that that is, that is not over the air it's quite commonplace today really to see uh those sort of kind of functions on hpe servers um and also uh well, hp servers hp workstations and also dell workstations as well um you know, i have a couple of dell workstations and uh, dell laptops and they do over the air uh updates now as well of course if we had windows 11 uh installed already then we could have done all that from within windows 11 but at the moment we don't have any os in place and um we wouldn't have been able to do that from from esxi um or probably from linux anyway anyway so if you've uh liked this video then please give a thumbs up like subscribe and share if you don't like this video then don't like it and drop a comment in the description as to why you don't like it uh my name is andrew hancock at uh, hancock's vmware half hour thanks so much for watching and uh come back again soon uh to watch uh, another video uh by me and it's quite likely to be on uh the minis forum uh in this mini series uh on the uh, minis uh forums minis forum minis forum um ms a2 so once again uh, thank you very much uh, for watching thank you very much to me um i'm now gonna basically go and jump in the swimming pool <laughs> goodbye now